Hi, and welcome to Reed's Audio Reading. I'm Reed, and I hope you enjoy my channel. Today I'll be introducing you to a forgotten god from the swell pantheon, Zerbo. You can find this information in Dragon Magazine 90. Zerbo, god of the sea, money, and business. Lesser god. Zerbo appears as a large man with matted hair that looks like brown kelp. His armor is made of dragon turtle hide, as is his shield. He bears a trident that, when used in water, combines the powers of submission and yearning, saving throw versus each allowed on each hit in melee, in addition to doing 5 to 50 points of damage, plus his plus 8 strength bonus on each hit. The weapon has a plus 2 bonus to hit, and with it Zerbo can charm any sea creature or remove a charm on such a creature placed by another, by simply touching the target. When used out of water, the trident is a plus two weapon for both to hit and damage purposes, doing only three to 12 points of damage, and does not have the power of charm, submission, or yearning. Zerbo can use the following magical powers at will. Maximum one casting per round. Detect magic, water breathing, one day duration. Speak with sea creatures, dispel magic, Polymorph other, always into a sea creature. Cure serious wounds. Cure disease. Neutralize poison. Raise dead. Sea creatures only. And only if the creature's intelligence is six or higher. Raise water and lower water. Also, he can use the following magical powers up to three times per day each. Conjure water elemental. Pass between fish, as a druid does between plants. Teleport without error. Protection from good or evil. 20 feet radius. A globe of invulnerability on himself only. These spells and spell-like powers are the only forms of magic that Zerbo has. All of his magical powers are used in the ninth level of ability for the purpose of range, duration, and area of effect unless otherwise indicated. His knowledge of the seas and what they contain is 100% accurate unless magic masks his view. He believes in fair combat and the unwritten law of the seas. Thus, he will not favor one sea creature over another. He believes that men and other land-based humanoids have no place in the water and will not offer aid to such land-based creatures unless they are trying to help or protect sea creatures or the seas and oceans in general. If some creature or character is endangered or killed by a sea creature, Zerbo considers this to be a fate and he will not help or change that course of events. He will not allow members of his clergy to reincarnate anyone killed in the sea or while traveling across it unless a non-sea creature did the killing. Druids who take up membership in the clergy of Zerbo are obviously special characters. They are devoted to the seas and oceans in the same way and do the same degree that other druids are involved with forests and other dried land environments. Members of Zerbo's clergy are expected to care only for the seas, and the deity will not tolerate extended land adventures by them, especially foolish excursions into dungeons and ruins. Members of the clergy of Zerbo, including neutral clerics, who can never be player characters, wear various shades of blue vestments, often decorated with green trim running from the edge of the garment into the torso, up to the neck, to simulate sea vegetation waving in the current. His clergy may never receive nor pray for spells involving fire, although they may receive spells such as resist fire and protection from fire. Conversely, any spells involving water that they receive will always be of the highest quality, operating for the purpose of range, duration, area of effect, and so forth. Zerbo is worshipped along the east coast of the Flaness, and in the hold of the Sea Princes, and on Lendor Isle. He is the preferred deity of seafaring barbarians. Thank you for listening to this video of the Forgotten Gods Zerbo, god of the sea, money, and business. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Best regards, read.